Today we're speedrunning through Kindergarten, a cute game with a lot of dark humor. And the speedrun we're going to be doing is all endings, starting with the Cindy one. So we're gonna get $3.10 from our piggy bank, and we'll start our speedrun as soon as we click yes right there, and right away we're at Kindergarten. Now first of all, the bully of the school, Bugs, is going to want some of our money. He can sense if you have more than $3, and if he does, he's gonna take half of it. Then right after that, we're gonna go over to Nugget, and we're gonna become friends with him so we get one of his nuggets. Then we'll go to our teacher, and we're going to tell our teacher about how Bugs stole our money. And she's like, oh, you should go fight him because apparently that's being a good teacher. And then finally, we're going over to Cindy. We're going to say that we need to be her boyfriend. And she tells us to be her boyfriend. We need to put some gum in her rival's hair. Now, finally, we're coming back to Bugs. We're going to make fun of him because his dad is never coming back. He's going to start beating us up, but we're going to call for the teacher. And there we go. And we got out scot-free. Now, after that, it's time for our first class time. And we're going to have to find a partner. We're going to go right over to Lily and put some gum in her hair because Cindy wanted us to. After that, she's really happy that we made Lily cry. And yeah, she's not the nicest person in the world and tells us to go wash up. Now we get this joke. Yeah, of course it had to happen. And we go over to the hallway. We have to tell him that we have a hall pass. We can go in the bathroom and there's definitely nothing suspicious happening here. So we wash up our face, go back to the room. Our teacher comes back, takes back the bathroom pass, and we can talk to Cindy. She wants to play house. So what we're going to do is this great house blank. Yeah. <laughs> This is just a great scenario. But she's really happy that we did that with her, so that's another quest done for Cindy. And now it is lunchtime, so we have to do a couple of things. First of all, we're gonna talk to Morty, and we're gonna say that we wanna buy a salad. After we buy that, we're gonna go right over to Cindy, we're gonna eat a nugget, and then we're gonna give her our salad because apparently she's trying to be vegan. But then she says that she's not actually vegan and she doesn't really know what it is. Yeah, Cindy's a interesting person. But now she wants to play a prank on Lily because she hasn't done enough already. So it's time for me to go to the janitor's closet and find some things that we can use on Lily. Now, before anything else, I do want to come all the way down here because if we look in this box, we can find a $5 bill and we're going to need that money for later. After that, we're going to take this blood. So that's fun. And we go back to the cafeteria only to see that everybody is left. It's time at this point to go over to Cindy and we're going to do our plan. I show her that we have a bucket filled with blood and yeah, you'll just see what happens. So Cindy calls over Lily. For some reason, she decides to actually come over and we do this. Yeah. <laughs> So she's really covered with blood. And this is what she decides to do. Look, at the beginning, I said it was dark humor. And don't worry, because it only gets darker from here. But Cindy is really happy, so she gives us a flower. And I guess that's great. And then our teacher comes over. Nugget says he knows where Lily went. She's like, oh, where is he? And then also Nugget dies. Yeah, <laughs> this is a great start to our first day at kindergarten. So our teacher tells the janitor to come over. She's like, okay, clean up this mess. It's time to go back inside. And for show and tell, I have to show the flower that Cindy gave me. Otherwise, she will be very upset at me. So there we go. That's our first day and the first ending of kindergarten done. She's going to say we're an amazing boyfriend and we unlock Cindy's flower, which will be useful later. We also got a lot of money, which will be useful in like literally just two seconds. And Monday repeats itself. It's time to go to our piggy bank and we're going to get $7 from it. Now we need all this money because of course, Bugs is always going to mug us if we have over $3. So after he mugs us, we're only going to have $3.50. Now we let him take that and we go to the teacher and we decide, you know, we're going to do another kitty fight because our teacher really enjoys those. And then we're going to go over to Morty. We're going to say that we want a voice recorder. And the reasoning behind this, why we're setting this all up is this is the ending for eliminating all the children. As you'll see, as we go on, every single one of these children is either going to be dead or expelled from the school. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. But there goes the first person. Bugs is now out of the way and it's time to move on to Cindy. Now, again, she's going to ask us if we want to be her boyfriend, but we're going to say that we don't really want to prove it to her. And then this happens. Yeah. So that's part of the game. Now we both have to get sent to the principal's office, but Bugs, the principal just lets him go. We still need to do that to get the teacher's quest going. But yeah, it is kind of annoying. Now we have this talk, but because I bought the voice recorder, I can just show him that and show that I'm innocent. So there we go. Now Cindy is out of the way and that is one of the students gone. Now our teacher comes back and she is really happy that we got rid of Cindy and it's time to take out 
out some more kids. Now, the next person we have to take out is Jerome, who is the principal's son. So we're going to buy a yo-yo from Morty, and then we're going to take this to him, show him the yo-yo, and we're going to be like, hey, we should become friends. Now, what Jerome is going to do is he will give us a special hall pass and tell us that we have to go to the hallway. But we're going to show the teacher that Jerome got that hall pass because he wasn't supposed to have it. He like stole it from his dad or something. So that's another kid eliminated. But this isn't done just yet because now our teacher wants us to go after Nugget. So of course, Nugget has all his nuggets of friendship and we say that we want to be friends with him. He tells us to eat his nugget. So yeah, we kind of just do that. Then end this period. Now in lunch, there's going to be a lot of stuff we have to do. First, we talk to Morty. He complains about the janitor, which we'll get to later. Then we go to Nugget and he tells us that he poisoned our nugget that we ate. And to get the antidote, we're now going to have to kill bugs. Then we go over to the janitor and we say that he spelled biscuit wrong, which he gets really upset at. So he goes over to Morty and does this. Yeah. Anyway, that's another person that we have now dealt with. We're really getting rid of these kids fast. Now, right after this, we're going to the lunch lady and we got Morty's glasses because we helped the janitor. And she's like, oh, if you give me the glasses, then you can go outside. But before we do that, we talk to Bugs and we tell him that we need him to eat one of the poison nuggets. We'll tell him that he'll look like a sissy and Cindy will say that. And then he decides to eat it. So we go back to Nugget. We tell him it's done. And yeah, another kid is dead. But before we can go to recess, we still have to do one more thing. We come out here by Lily and we're going to knock on this door. So then the principal is going to come out and he's like, why are you kids out here? So we'll tell him that Lily was eavesdropping on him and I just wanted to let him know. So he tells us to please excuse him for a moment. And this happens. Yeah, um, <laughs> definitely nothing bad happened right there. So we got a lot more gold stars because our teacher is very proud of us. And all we have to do at this point is get rid of Nugget. Because we did that thing with Bugs earlier, Nugget does kind of trust us. So we can go right over to him and it's time to go to the Nugget Cave. We can jump right in there. And once we arrive in Nugget Cave, we see that there's kind of just a dead dog there. So we take the dead dog and we leave Nugget Cave. Now it's time to go back to our teacher and show her the dead dog and that makes Makes her very upset because apparently that's Cindy's dog. So yeah, now this time we won't even have to do any work because instead our teacher is just going to push Nugget in and there we go. All the kids are dead. Yep. It literally took like five minutes. It was so easy. So we get a reward and now we have a lunch pass, which we can go to lunch with our teacher. So yeah, that's another ending. And there we go. Another day complete. Of course we got the lunch pass and we also got like 75 more cents, but we're not going to need that just yet. Now for the third Monday, it's time to do another ending. First First of all, we're going to take the lunch pass and we're also going to take the flower that Cindy gave us. Now for this one, we're going to do nugget sending. So right away, we show him the flower. He tells us that we should be his friend and we have to get all of his nuggets. Now after that, we talk to Cindy and she tells us that she wants us to get back at Lily. But instead of getting back at Lily and putting gum in her hair, we tell her about the gum. Then if we just tell her that she's not ugly, she's going to really trust us and that will be important later. After that, we go on to Monty, which I realize I've been calling him Morty this entire time. Whatever. Now, after that, we're going to snoop through people's cubbies and go over to Nugget. He's telling us that we have to find his next Nugget. And because we already looked through the cubbies, we can tell him that the teacher won't let us search them. So he tells us that he'll give us a pill and then we can go and give that to our teacher and make her not the most concentrated on her work. So now she lets us take things from people's cubbies. Now we can tell Nugget this and he's going to be very happy for us. He's then going to give us a love letter that we have to give to Lily. And because Lily trusts us, she's actually going to read it or instead of reading it, she's going to to give it to our teacher to read. So, you know, we got a great love letter that says some interesting things, but Nugget gets very upset and so does Lily. I would be very embarrassed too. So it's time to go back to Nugget, tell him that we did another thing and we definitely deserve another chicken nugget. Now after that, right before we leave, we're also going to want to take the knife from Bugs. We'll use that in just a little bit. Now it's time to go over to Lily. She's going to tell us she kind of freaked out and give us a donut. Now after that, we're going back to Nugget and we're doing the same thing as before, where Bugs is going to throw something at Nugget. It will make him upset. So he gives us a poison nugget. But instead of using the poison nugget, we're kind of going to just use the knife and yeah. But anyway, Nugget is very happy because <laughs> I just don't even know what to say. But we skipped through the rest of the day and now it's time to go to recess. Now, of course, we're going over to Nugget and we're going to be like, what's up? He is very happy because we have gotten all of his nuggets or actually all except one. We have one more thing that we have to do. So he places down a device and he's going to give it back to us. Now we're going to take this device and put it on the statue. Then we can talk to Lily and scream that the principal took Billy and the statue explodes and Lily is going to get in trouble. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And of course the teacher says, hey, 
what are you gonna give me to not put you in trouble so we can use the donut from earlier and it's finally time to get our true last nugget from Nugget. We also get the fun journey of going into Nugget Cave because who doesn't love that? And once we're in here, we're going to go over to the memorial for Billy and put a flower at it. Nugget really cares about us at this point because he's like, wow, you actually like Billy too. I have no idea who Billy is. But he tells us that he'll have something for us at the end of the day. All I have to do is show one of Nugget's nuggets and everything's pretty happy. Now after show and tell, we all come back out and Nugget is very happy to give us what Billy gave him, which is going to be a no. Again, this will be important as we go on. Now, our next one is going to be doing the Jerome mission. So first of all, we're going to take the lunch pass and go off to another day of kindergarten. Now, right away, instead of using the lunch pass, we're going to want to sell it to Monty. He's going to give us $3 for it, which we can use to buy a yo-yo, cigarettes, and a screwdriver. Now, we just have to play around for a little bit longer, and it's time to go inside. Now, right away, we're going to Jerome, and we're going to show him the yo-yo that we got for him. So he's going to become our friend, and we're actually going to complete the mission that we did earlier. So while he distracts our teacher, we're going all the way to the hallway. And Jerome has a special hall pass, which makes you able to go anywhere. So we're going to use that to go into the janitor's closet. Now with the screwdriver we got earlier, we can unscrew that screw and go into the stolen stuff box. And once we're in there, we can get Jerome's laser pointer, which is going to make him really happy. But before we can give it to him, the bell is going to happen and it's time to go to lunch. Now once we make it here, we can show him the laser pointer, but the janitor is very upset because he noticed that we took his laser pointer. So we're going to throw it in the garbage because I guess that's a good place to hide it. The janitor will come around. He'll be like, oh, did you steal my laser pointer? Dude, I just don't even care at this point. But the lunch lady, before he goes to sell his biscuits, she wants him to take out the trash. So he's going to go move that around and tell us that he just left the trash in the bathroom. So now it's time to go there. Jerome is going to tell us that we need to go to the bathroom and he's going to tell the lunch lady that we should be able to go. So yeah, we're pretty much all good. I don't know why I have to do all this work, but I guess I'm doing it. So we arrive in the bathroom and then we see the hall monitor, but he won't tell on us if we give him cigarettes, so we're just home free. We can then go in the garbage bag, get the laser pointer, and almost everything is now set up. It's time to go to recess, but right away the janitor is mad at Jerome, so Monty tells us that he has a plan. Monty decides to give us an explosive device, because those are always fun. So we place that right behind the janitor, and we're gonna do some interesting stuff. So yeah, they have this entire plan, and this happens. Yeah, another death to add to the bunch. So there we go. Everything is now good. Our teacher is like, wow, what just happened? But it doesn't really matter because, hey, we made it through another day. And now Jerome is going to give us a keyhole, which we can use to make a key later. It's going to be for the principal's room, and it's going to be the last ending we do. But before that, we still have two more, and this next one is going to be Bugs ending. So for this one, we want to bring the lunch pass, a flower, and $3.10. Now, of course, with the $3.10, right away, Bugs is going to be upset at us and tell us that we need to give him our cash. Now, after that, we're going to be friends with Nugget, and he's going to give us the exploding device. Yeah, you can probably see where this is going. So we're going to go talk to our teacher, but this time we're not going to fight Bugs. We're going to tell her no way, and that's going to make Bugs respect us. So at the beginning of class, Bugs tells us to come talk to him, and he says that we need to deal with her because he doesn't want her to expel us. So he's going to give us a knife. And yeah, we're going to be able to use our teacher lunch pass to our advantage, but first we need something to distract her. So Monty will be able to give us something for $1.50, and we're in a really good position to do some more murdering. Yeah, you should be used to it by now. Anyways, we're going to place the device right behind this desk, wait just a little bit of time, and tell the teacher that we want to have lunch with her. So hooray, we get a nice happy meal. But then we activate the distraction, and we come up behind her and stab her. Yeah, another dead body. So anyway, we take the knife because we don't want people to use it for evidence and it's time to go to recess. Now right away, we have to talk to Bugs and he tells us that we need to hide it. So we go to Nugget and tell him that we need to put the knife in his Nugget cave and he lets us do it for some reason. Now after that, the principal is like, hey, look, your teacher's kind of dead. And so he's going to look at all the different people. And I mean, there's no one that obviously was the one who killed her. I empty my pockets. He doesn't see anything. He looks at Bugs next and Bugs gives me the teacher's cell phone and there's nothing in his pockets either. So looks like we're in the clear. Yep, nothing suspicious about me at all. So anyway, I get the phone and he tells me that I can use it for another day. There we go, another day complete. At this point, there are only two endings left and this one is going to be the Monty ending. Now, first of all, we want to get 
three dollars the lunch pass a flower and the key thing because we're going to be using monty to make this key thing for us so first of all we're going to have to become cindy's boyfriend you know it's just kind of normal stuff and then we're going to tell lily about cindy trying to put gum in her hair and tell her no problem so then she gives us a donut after this we're going to go to monty and we're going to ask to buy a yo-yo then we can also sell our lunch pass and finally have a key made but it's going to cost us twenty dollars so of course throughout this entire day we're just trying to make that twenty dollars now for the first part we're going over to jerome and we're going to show him our yo-yo then just like usual he's going to distract the teacher and we'll get his hall pass and it's time to go to this box in the corner again and we're going to get the money this time which is going to be five dollars now after this jerome is like oh did you get my laser pointer but we don't care about you anymore jerome so we tell him that we weren't able to get it and he just kind of gets over it now at this point we're going back to monty and we're going to sell a lot of stuff we sell our donut and we also sell our hall pass which makes us $18.25 and now if we just wait we make a little bit of money each time we wait and we're actually able to make our $20 so at the end of the day Monty asked us if we made all the money and we did so there we go now we have a key key to the principal's office is now complete and it's time for the final mission so this is going to be the Lily ending where we need to bring $2.15 the note we got earlier the principal's key and our teacher's phone now after that we're going to want to go to Lily and show her the note that we have which she's going to be like wow that's actually Billy's handwriting so we need someone to decipher it but before that we're going to get some cigarettes and then after that we're going to ask him to decipher the note then we can go back to Lily and told her about all that stuff then we can tell her we have both the teacher's phone and a key to the principal's office so we're doing pretty well finally we're going to go over to Nugget and we're going to tell him that we want to hear about Billy so he's going to call over the principal and tell us that we basically need to stop talking about Billy so yeah he's just like don't do it anymore and gives me pills now we're going to go over here and lift up this rug which isn't ominous at all and yeah now we're back here and we tell the teacher that we didn't get any pills because those are going to be useful later so we're going to go to Lily and tell her that we saw a hatch now we need some actual evidence that things are happening so we have to go to the bathroom of course we have this same joke again so that's always fun but we get the hall pass we can come by this guy you know it's just kind of normal stuff and it's finally time to see what the janitor is doing with that bloody bag over there so we're going to look through all of these stalls because we need to prove to the janitor that we did that after that we can go up to him and tell him that one of the toilets needs cleaning since the others are occupied and we can't use them then we go over here and we get a severed finger yeah um so that's fun anyway it's time for lunchtime, and the first thing we're going to do is talk to monty and take the deciphered notes so we can use that then we can go over to lily and we can show her both the finger and the note that we got now it's time to go to the bathroom where we find the hall monitor of course we can just use another pack of cigarettes and we're all good now lily is going to call the principal and she's going to say that if he wants to save our teacher he needs to go to her classroom so this gives us time to unlock the door with the key i got earlier and we find that under the rug the lock takes a key so we're gonna have to find that so we kind of just look through his drawer and find the key right away yeah it wasn't too difficult and it's time to open the hatch and see some weird things yep it looks like billy's down here along with some weird looking monsters but we're gonna have to press a couple of buttons we press the yellow button the red button the yellow button and the green button and that's going to make it that billy doesn't die even though one of the monsters died but hey look it's our principal with a gun so yeah he's gonna be like i'm gonna kill you but before he's able to do that we press the blue button and that's going to let free the monster so yeah this happens you know, he kind of had it coming. So yeah, anyway, the monster now decides to go and jump down in that hole with him. But, you know, I'm not really worrying about it too much. And we finally saved Billy. Hooray for us. So the teacher is like, why did you guys skip recess? And we're like, we found Billy. And the teacher's like, you have to go to the principal's office. But the principal's dead. So that means our teacher doesn't have anyone to sign her checks. And she just kind of leaves. I mean, fair enough. So anyway, we get to have our final talk with Lily and Billy. And they give us a Monster Mon card. And there we go. That's our time, 3014. And if we look on speedrun.com, we'll see that we got third place. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe.